Hi everyone, it's good to see everyone brave the storm and made it tonight. Um, yeah, here's our trip to Papua New Guinea. On Bamboo was a workshop at the University at Unitech at Leigh. Um, about a dozen architects from Australia, Indonesia and England got invited to come over and take part in the masterclass. Uh, the, um, so we arrived, me and Maddie thought, let's, we were there previously and we thought we'd love PNG. We'd go back, let's go there a little bit early. And we got there two days early and of course, they make you go out in the jungle and cut the bamboo. So we're out there sweating amongst the, the mosquitoes. And out, this is from a mission. Um, there were some mission boys that actually spent a week cutting the bamboo for the workshop. PNG, I have a huge affinity with, the, with that country since I've been there. Um, the culture, the climate, um, it's like tonight, just a very erratic moisture, sunlight, um, and we have, Australia is, is so close, it's our closest neighbour, we pretty much, Australia colonised this country, um, they eat Vegemite, they say good day, um, they love the state of origin as much as we do, um, so I really think that it's an important part of our country as well. Um, this is right next to the university, there's a place called The Block, um, this is a classic house um, made from found material. Um, this is the corner shop where you can go and buy cigarettes, um, cooking oil, um, beetle nut. There's not much very chewing gum, there's about five things you can buy there and it's open two hours a day. But it's also another <laughs> beautiful piece of um, found material that, that makes, makes the place. So this is the environment that we arrived in. Um, the workshop started off with us getting a, a introduction from the traditional uh, dancers and warriors from different tribes. So the guys on the left here are the Millen Bay coastal region and the guys on the right are the Highlanders. And these are the guys that you hear about embroiled in tribal wars and all those things all the time. But in that part time they're students. Um, and so we had to um, sort of engage with these people on a different level. So we had to put aside all of our sort of beliefs or what we knew to expect. And, and get out of them um, architectural ideas and thoughts about bamboo. And the way to do that was just to let them um, experiment, pretty much. So we started the week with um, a lot of uh, model making, a lot of uh, testing ideas, a lot of um, questions and research, and a lot of breaking bamboo. The amount of bamboo that we broke before we actually built anything useful was um, <laughs> quite a learning experience. There wasn't much um, experience in the group, within the groups, about working with bamboo. So a lot of it was learning for both for us as, as teachers and for them as students. But what came out of it was um, people were thinking differently about what is a piece of bamboo. Is it a piece of structure? Is it a screen? Um, can it be used as a mould? Can it be used to um, be like something else? You know, what, what is what is that product and how can it be used? Um, and uh, what we pushed then was how do then pieces of bamboo interact? Um, on the left here is a really good detail of a coconut in the centre of some bamboo brought together with some fibreglass. And on the right here is a piece of bamboo held with uh, shredded car inner tubes and then bound with ropes. So the structure of the week, um, we more or less had each, each of the architects that, that came over had about 15 architecture and building students from, from the entire school from first to fifth year. Um, and we had a plot of land that was three by three metres square, um, all lined up nicely right at the front of the university. Um, and at the end of the week, it was going to be some beautiful pavilions at the end. So we went away and started playing with things. And then halfway through the week, it, it, it wasn't, bamboo wasn't enough. So we went across the junkyard across the road and started finding windshields and car tyres and bits of felt and whatever we could find to, to start layering and, and adding to the bamboo in order to, this typical bamboo knogging. And that's part of the way they build too. They, they build their houses and their, their lives with stuff that they get from their jungles and from around them. So, so this is an extrapolation of the, this detail, this, uh, the nuts detail that we saw before. Um, we coined this one the PNG Pavilion of Modern Art. Um, <laughs> very nautical theme. Um, and compared to this is a very much like a, a ship caught in some trees, I guess. It's almost like a, uh, a tree house that emerges out of the landscape. So the, the ideas are totally free. Yeah, the lecturer from RMIT brought a, uh, a rhino model and showed, showed the kids and said, can we make this? And, and the plot of land out, out on the grass didn't suit, so he went and inhabited these trees and, and grew from there. Um, this was a really interesting pavilion um, because they used concrete in a casting way. So she was trying to break up light and break up experiences and make you move through. You see that screen at the top, opened and closed, 
there's, there's amazing amounts of uh, sensitivity for mechanisms and how things fit together. Um, this was a pavilion done um, to test an idea done by another artist. I can't remember the name of the artist, but what it is is that none of the poles can touch and none of them can cross more than twice. So they use cables to hang and suspend all those pieces around and, and, and so they spent weeks, oh, four days on the model and like three days on the day on the National Pavilion. This was, last time I was in Papua New Guinea or when I was in the jungle, all I wanted was to sit on a lounge chair. I was crying out to actually sit down and relax. So when I got there, I got the kids to build me a lounge chair. <laughs> <laughs> and then what came out of that, we had to shade the lounge chair. So then there was a shade structure that came over this. Uh, another pavilion, this was an idea, very exact, this was the most exact pavilion of the week where there was a, a, a model to begin with of 1 into 10 or 1 into 20 and then that became the exact replica and then... Yeah, he had a very clear idea to start with and then the students had to try and realise that and he had no idea who was going to build it so the students had to figure that out as they went. This was an amazing one, this was all about sound. The, the group spent the first three days making sound out of their bamboo. They, and they made a band and then they took the band on the road and went around different spaces and started resonating. And then eventually the, they, they built a very vernacular uh, classic building that, that the students knew how to build, but the entire thing made music and they had a performance at the end of the week. This was John Andrews. This was the, the, the final night. We, we lit all the, the structures up. To, that was one of the elements we had to work with was light. And John, Mary, Mary, John, John, Andrews. John Andrews worked with, um, with screens and he built all these screens over the week and on the final day he hung up a sheet and lit it all up and it was just the perfect lantern to end the week. Thank you.